In this demonstration, we're going to look at global conditions and requirements. Global conditions define conditions to be tested. They can be used in multiple deployment types and across multiple applications. They allow you to customize the settings you use to determine whether a deployment type is available to a user or device. They vary between Windows based devices, Windows mobile based devices and Nokia devices. Also, we have requirements. Requirements specify the conditions that must be met before an application can be installed. They're defined in the deployment type, and when the deployment type is evaluated, the requirement must be satisfied for that deployment type to apply. And they can be used for many reasons, such as hardware requirements or user's primary device. What we've done here, we've come into our software library workspace, we've gone to application management, and we've come to global conditions. We'll right click, and we want to create a global condition for Internet Explorer brings us into wizard so the first thing to do is start setting up this information we're going to come down the hive name to start with and we're going to browse through and what we want is we want the HK local machine we want to go to software and we want to go to Microsoft within Microsoft we then want to specify Internet Explorer within Internet Explorer we want to go for version and then what we'll do is we'll select OK that's the hive that we want to actually run this against we want to give it a name, so all we're going to do here is call this Internet Explorer version. And then we'll select OK. Now we've created that condition, what we'll do is we'll apply that against an application. So we'll just come to our applications, we'll just right click our Microsoft Office Excel viewer, and we'll just come to our properties. Then we'll come to deployment types. We'll highlight the application and select edit. We'll then come to requirements. We'll select add. And under category, click on the drop down. And what we'll do here is we'll go for custom. Click on the drop down next condition. And what we want to look for here is our Internet Explorer version. Then all we'll do is we'll just specify the value. And the value will be 9.11.9431.0, and then we just select our OK button. Then we'll select OK, and select OK again. And that's the end of this demonstration of using global conditions and requirements. Thank you.